The other big mistake that I see is optimizing your homepage for a city. The example here is, you know, let's keep riding with, with Seattle. Um, you have your main website is, uh, you know, your main homepage is going to be Seattle personal injury lawyer. And then you build this Tacoma site uh, or Tacoma page. You, you set that up, but you leave your homepage as Seattle personal injury lawyer. That's a problem. Um, you can, you know, there's not like a hard rule on this, right? Like you're not going to get you know, a Google penalty or something like this, but I'll just give you our practical experience of how we have made this uh, work better. And the the problem that I, I that I see with this is that it gives your site a narrow focus to Google, and it's ultimately going to make you make it harder to rank for individual cities. If you plaster Seattle on your homepage, your homepage is the most important page on your website. It's really the, that top level signal. Think about it as the, you know, the biggest uh, Russian container doll, right? So it, whatever you see at the top, that's really going to set the tone for the rest of the website. And if you say Seattle, you are going to get largely labeled as a Seattle website, right? You're talking to it. You're, you're, you're going for it. Um, what we see is a better option in this case is to adjust the website so that you are changing your homepage targeting to the entire state, or in some cases, uh, the entire nation, um, and going for a keyword like personal injury lawyer, Washington, personal injury lawyer, hard stop, right? That would be the national version of it. And in this case, we would have you know, likely the, the suggestion that I would have is your homepage is Washington, personal injury lawyer. And then you have a silo for Seattle, for Tacoma, and then potentially if you want to get into other markets like Olympia or Spokane, uh, wh whatever, um, you know, you, you'd want to do. And the way that you can adjust this without really doing any damage is just manipulating the site to bring in all of your Seattle content into that one, uh, that one location and your kind of global pages that someone would see when just straight coming to the website um, from your homepage would be uh, Washington specific. So your practice area pages would be Washington specific. And then you click on locations, you would have Seattle. That's where you're really going to shoot for uh, Seattle personal injury lawyer. And then below that, you've got your practice sub pages for each of those individual areas of personal injury law. And, um, so, you know, by doing that, you are telling Google, okay, we are giving kind of like equal weight to, to these other locations. And, um, just to preempt this, yes, there, there will likely be some level of temporary, not damage, but just adjustment for, Google's uh, indexing to crawl and understand how you're adjusting your website, what you want to rank for now. Um, but in the long run, this is, uh, in my opinion, the absolute best way to do it because we have struggled with this um, with firms that we've worked with who target one specific page, even had um, the city in their URL. And that made it extremely hard, if not impossible, to rank for their secondary locations because it was like their URL at the beginning was seattlepersonalinjurylawyer.com, right? So as Google looks at that, they're looking at the domain as a really powerful ranking signal um, because, you know, presumably your URL is going to be uh, exactly what your website's about or it's going to speak to what your, your website's about. So they look at that and they're going to give a lot of pre uh, precedent to that and, you know, really factor that into your knowledge graph, identify you as that Seattle attorney. So instead of only having one group of practice pages labeled as Seattle, you want to have multiple practice sets of practice pages that are narrowly focused on the main city that you are trying to rank for. So when you only have this one location, it just, or one set of practice pages, it just compounds that problem 
of lacking location topical authority. You only have the that group of pages uh, for Seattle, thus eliminating your chances to rank for Tacoma. So I think I've probably covered that in depth. I wanted to you know really paint the picture, even though um, you know I think in 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 practice it's or when you, when you break it down like that, it's not a extraordinarily complex concept. It kind of makes sense that, okay, we want to, you know, we want to rank and perform in this secondary location. So, you know, we need to give it, a th give it thought, give it attention. Um, the problem, you know, I think part of the problem with it is that, uh, you know, we, we have, you know, unrealistic expectations and then, um, you know, there's, part of it just in terms of strategy that folks don't have, you know, real tr experience doing this on multiple websites to kind of know the, uh, you know, trial and error to, to understand it. And then it's, it's also just a lot of work too. It's, it's resources. And, you know, that's not, um, that does not go, uh, un unnoticed with, with someone like myself because SEO can be slow. It can be, uh, expensive. And so, you're paying an SEO company a bunch to optimize your website. And they're like, Hey, we want to basically double your budget, right? Because we need extra resources to go after this secondary location. And so I see the trade off there, but if you're really looking to expand, really looking to, you know, make that city as good or, you know, 70, 50% as good as your, your main location, then you really want to put in that extra time and effort to build those resources uh, that's going to give you that level of topical authority in the city. So what does this approach yield um, in a practical sense? So let's talk about some of the results here. And um, we've we've done this a few times. Um, I'm going to talk about one example of this uh, that, you know, has been very, very productive for us, where we went from one location. Uh, this is in the personal injury space. And it was in a smaller town. So about 50,000 people in this town and their secondary location was in the biggest city in the state. So more like 3 million people in that, uh, in that secondary location and the original URL and kind of presence of the, the firm was based on city personal injury lawyer.com. So it was really heavily focused on that one single area, helped them get rankings originally uh, in that area. But as you go into these other markets, not only does it create a problem in the, the technical sense on the SEO perspective, but also just think about if you're trying to get into a larger market or just a different market in your websites, URL is specifically calling out that other location, right? Apples to apples, you are probably not going to get that business when compared to another attorney in the specific area that you're you're trying to target. Um, maybe, maybe not. Maybe consumers are not as uh, picky about that. But just anecdotally, you know, if you are looking for a lawyer and this lawyer pops up that's 250 miles away, how are they going to know that, you know, you have a secondary location, you are, you know, perfectly capable of helping them in that city that they're located um, it, it presents a big challenge. So prior to us adopting this new strategy, uh, parceling out and creating these silos for individual locations, they were averaging about 750 users per month uh, from organic search. So all from SEO. Um, they had these secondary locations, but they were uh, utilizing that same structure that I've been uh, railing against this entire time. So one, basically one page uh, per, per location. And the, you know, the secondary location, uh, was a, a fiscal burden, really. They were largely existing off of cases that were coming from that primary location, but they weren't, uh, creating any new business in that location. So you've got rent, you've got an additional attorney. Um, so it's not really living up to its potential for that location. Um, as there's no new business generating from it, it's essentially just a, you know, a secondary office of that original location, but you wouldn't even really need to be in that second location. You could just be at the same, the main office, right? So what did we do? We changed the homepage. We moved them to a, a, a different URL that was more inclusive of the name of the firm. Uh, we didn't highlight a specific city with, uh, with the URL. And then we adopted the silo structure. So 
At the top level on the homepage, we talk about the state. Uh, the practice areas all sync up with, with statewide terminology. And then we have individual hubs for the second, third, and now fourth locations. Um, and then in each of those, they are basically mini homepage sites, right? So it's slash city. And then you have slash city, slash auto accident, med mal, uh, dog bites, so on and so on. And that has been super effective. So fast forward a year after making this change, it was slow going in the first three, three or so months, and then things started to pick up. And now this firm averages over 3000 users per month from SEO. And the big driver of this new traffic is this really competitive secondary market that had previously been a fiscal burden, but now they're getting multiple cases per month uh, coming from this from each secondary location. And these locations are steadily turning a profit uh, instead of being a burden. And the other cool part of this whole thing is that they're now, they've added a pipeline of new statewide cases. And so by, setting it up in this way, not only are they able to capture cases from their original market, so they're still dominating there. Um, they are now cracking a lot of first page positions in the secondary market. Um, that's very competitive, increasingly getting more and more of these, you know, top level uh, type of, of really lucrative money keywords uh, starting to get in there and, and win those cases as well. Um, but they've also got this, this nice pipeline of cases that are coming in from people searching state personal injury lawyer. And from that, a certain amount of people, it's not an enormous amount uh, of people are searching by state as opposed to individual city location. And so now they pop up, have this you know statewide presence, and then anyone who comes through who's maybe not in one of those two locations gets a, a sense that, okay, these you know, this firm's really statewide and um, they can handle my case. And so they're getting these cases from outside of the locations, um, which they never would have gotten before just by focusing on those those individual areas and only talking about uh, the individual city. 